The Craig Thompson affair escalated sharply today as the federal government accused Liberals of trying to improperly influence New South Wales Police to investigate the matter. It's also now claiming Queensland Senator George Brandis may have tried to pressure the federal police commissioner. It was a dossier of evidence supplied by Federal Shadow Attorney General George Brandis that started New South Wales Police looking at allegations against Craig Thompson. Now the government is claiming political influence was used. Senator Brandis ringing up his Liberal mate to ring up a police commissioner. New South Wales Police Minister Michael Gallagher confirmed today that Senator Brandis had called him last Friday to inform him out of courtesy he intended to write to Police Commissioner Andrew Scipioni. Mr Gallagher mentioned this to the Commission that night. The Commissioner indicated that if, that if he did receive any correspondence, it would be treated like any other referral. But under pressure at a news conference today, Julia Gillard bungled the counter-attack, claiming the Brandis, Gallagher, Scipioni conversations occurred. When it is known that the police are involved in an assessment process in relation to the member for Dobell. In fact, the police assessment didn't start until four days later, after receipt of the Brandis dossier, a basic factual error by the Prime Minister. Nine News can reveal that Senator Brandis also phoned the Federal Police Commissioner, Tony Negus, about the scandal over Mr Thompson's alleged misuse of a union credit card to pay for escort services and to make cash withdrawals. I'm concerned that uh, Senator Brandis was seeking to put pressure on uh, Mr Negus. Senator Brandis says he contacted Commissioner Negus after hearing a report that police in Mr Thompson's electorate had rejected a request to investigate on the grounds that matters involving a Federal MP had to be handled by federal police. The Commissioner had agreed with him that this was not the case when breaches of state law were alleged. Senator Brandis knows the law like the back of his hand. Laurie Oakes, Nine News.